Hello and welcome back to 1942 for the NES timeline. We are on level 25 now. Oh, whoa. There's another one of those power-ups that blows up everything on the screen. Everything is on the screen now. So maybe I should have saved it. If I had known what it did, I might have. So, I'm Tarquin. And this game is still fun. I am actually having a lot of fun with this game. I'm pretty sure I've never gotten this far into the game. I know I got to about level 29 or 28, the beginning of level 29 or 28 in, uh, in the Game Boy Color version of it, but I don't think I ever got that far in this NES version. Um, and also to note, at the, at the end of the last episode, or somewhere in the, the last episode, I mentioned that the music in the Game Boy version of the game sounded the same, but that could have just been a porting issue. Uh, it could have just been them changing, uh, taking the NES version of the game and just directly porting it to the Game Boy Color. But no, I went and watched a video of the arcade version of this game, and the music is just as annoying in the arcade version. So I'm assuming that they were trying to do some kind of like a war drum or uh, some type of military fanfare. Uh, I've heard certain things like that before, like in a in a uh, drum line for the military or something like that. So I'm assuming that's what they were going for. But that high beeping noise, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me unless they're trying to to simulate some kind of a horn or a cymbal or something, I'm not sure. Hey, I landed with 74% accuracy, because I'm just pressing the button. So, yeah. Also, I thought it would be cool there if there was maybe a version of the game that had different music, because it's obvious that they had decent sounds. But yes, enough about the sounds. Those are new types of ships. Uh, ships. I'm going to keep calling them ships, just because... Video games. I'm so used to the science fiction type of shooter that I default to the word ship rather than plane. Oh crap, darn it. Hmm. Also something to note, I don't remember if it was this way on the Nintendo version, but in uh, 1943, when you die, you keep your power-ups. So that's kind of cool. I know I've, I'm not a huge fan of games giving you a power-up just just for you to lose it right after you die. Unless there's... Whoa, whoa! Too many things shooting at me. Unless there's some legitimate reason to take it away from you. And in this game, I don't... I don't know if there's a legitimate reason. Other than... You just killed your pilot, so they have to send up a new plane to go fly and find a power-up. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know. I guess your character is really a plane, not so much a person. Okay, I got my four power-up again, so that's good. I guess they give two of those to you in this level. Still not sure whether or not you get the same power-ups on the individual levels. I just about got run into there. Oh, hello. How are you? How are you? Oh man, I should have done my little rolly rolly. Well, wow. Nope, don't hit start on the player one. Okay, am I going to start over land? Yes, I am. L okay. So, we have those side fly guys now as a regular. We still have the... Whoa! We still have the basic gray ships going on. The gray and uh, the red ships with the... I totally thought I was dodging him, but I was actually looking at the large plane more than my own ship. So yeah, the, the red dot there. I'm assuming that's to simulate the red dot that was on the side of the airplanes in the war against Japan that meant House of the Rising Sun 
which is why there's a big red dot on Japan's flag. Yay, learning and dying at the same time. Always a good combination. We know that knowledge will be well spent when you're dead. I do also think it's interesting that you can't go all the way down on the screen, which is useful because it gives you a bit of default reaction time before a ship below you comes up and attacks you. So uh, back in the NES era of bringing arcade type games like this to the console, they seemed to favor implementing the continue system with a limited number of continues and I guess that's to to make up for the fact that in the arcade you can just keep pumping in quarters until you run out of quarters but at home you could essentially just play forever and I'd, I don't know that that's necessarily a downside but I like what Capcom did here so far as I can tell with the infinite continues I think I probably would have run out of continues by now had it not been had it been a finite amount or had it not been an infinite amount Oh, hello! Wasn't I just talking about that? Being able to... Did I just get an extra life? <laughs> I think I might have just gotten an extra life when I died. But I wasn't paying attention to my previous life counter number. Hello there, aeroplane. That's not how I say that word. 2000, yes. I like the... The little, the little explosion when the plane crashes it simulates the, uh, the plane falling down to the ground and crashing below. I think that's kind of cool. And also, to note, you will probably hear me say something about this in the future when I do play games like it. But I am glad that there's not a missile down to the ground type thing in this game. I've never been a really huge fan of... of that. Okay, I made it back to 23. I really wish the cursor wouldn't start off on player one and would start off on continue, but I made it back with an extra power up. So whoop-dee. That is always a good thing. So now I just need to keep that power up because these guys come at me so much stuff at the same time that it's really hard to dodge all of it. Especially when you have an itchy nose and you can't scratch it. See if I can do it. See if I can do it. Nope. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm going to try and do it. Nope. Okay. Well. There is one use to dying. I don't remember how far into the level I got before getting game over last time. So I just started at the beginning. You guys. I really want to punch you with my front of my airplane apparently no I wanna punch you with bullets so you can give me the power-ups because I need the power-ups in order to power up yes that is why they're called power-ups because they power you up I am good at video game logic look at me roar hear me roar nothing's coming where is everything okay they were just they were just uh, the calm before the storming me. Yeah, I just made a phrase into a verb. Calm before the storming me. Man, look at all these guys. Is that a new enemy type? Yeah, there's a new enemy type there too, with the with the uh, strange formation shape of the ship thingy thing. It's kind of uh, cross shaped. Okay, okay. Alright, I think they're at the end of one of these formations here. Uh, no, I don't see them. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, dodging everything ever. There's some right there. Okay, uh, ooh, he did a cool little barrel roll thing. Not gonna say it. Not doing it. You can't make me. Alright, I need to make sure to push select. Okay, not pushing a button here. That was the problem. I hit start. We're right there at the end. So, do I start over land? Yes, I do. Excellent. 
I wonder why my life up, uh, my life counter ship uh, airplane, see I did it again, looks different than my actual airplane. That's kind of weird. Oh! Bullets everywhere. See, it looks different than my airplane. Maybe it's like a back view of the plane rather than a top-down view of the plane. Still, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you do such a thing to me, game? None of this perspective nonsense. Give me top-down or give me over the shoulder. Don't give me both. Don't give me choices. That's not allowed. Oh, crap. I couldn't dodge that. Oh, I could have had I used my R. But apparently I don't know how to use that. So, let's see if I can remember to use the R. This is the remember to use the R power hour right now. Come on, remember to use the R if I need it. If I need it, um, I hit the R button there, so... What? I don't know what happened. It's kind of weird. Okay. Let's see. I want to be able to hit the the flip button if I need it, but I want it to work. Okay, okay, it worked that time. I don't I don't know why it didn't work last time. That's kind of weird. Oh, okay, everything. Okay, I see why they gave me the flip button now, because you can get caught in a corner, and I've already used two of them. But I'm learning how to use it, and I'm gonna get them back, because I'm gonna die again. We all know it's coming. I mean, I would I would think you would expect it to be weird if I didn't die again. You'd be thinking, what are these shenanigans and what kind of evil nonsense is he trying to pull here? Okay, okay. Well, that does always uh, that is always useful to bide some time when we're right next to the ship. Run, 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 run. By run, run, I mean fly, fly. Do I have time for another level? Um, yeah, let's go do another level. Why not? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the party. So glad you could join. join. <laughs> so how come they get two color ships? How come I don't get two color ships? Why am I always the white ship? Why can't I be the green ship or the purple ship? Oh, ooh, extra ships, extra ships. Ooh, I like it. I am so much a fan of this power-up. I really, really want to keep it. I really, really want to keep it. Oh, how do I dodge everything? Okay, that's how I dodge everything. Oh, what? I dodged that bullet. Go back and look at that. That bullet went between my main plane and my side plane there on the right. Oh, this is hard. Oh, oh, it's so hard to dodge everything. Okay, how many of you guys are coming here? Okay, okay. Woo! I lost one of my ships. It's okay. I still got. I still have three of them. Three, three shots. I mean, not three ships. Ooh, maybe you'll give me another one. Please give me another. One. Yes. Yeah. Wait, no. I have to lose this ship first. I have to use lose. Th no. Oh, come on, really? Why you gotta pull that on me, game? You knew what I was trying to do, and you thwarted my pro. My. Ah. Ah. So, yes, I do know that about this game. In order to get the ship power up, the second ship power up, you have to have lost both of your secondary ships in order to get two new ships. You can't just replenish one of them. So, game, why you gotta be a thing? Just fly straight. Don't be all belligerent and driving crazy. Belligerent? Yeah, that's not the word, but okay, we'll go with it. With your kamikaze -ness. He knew... He knew which ship I was in. He knew. He knew that he had to blow up the big ship. Because my comrades were just... there. They weren't actually... Uh, they weren't actually me. They were decoy ships. In order to deter the main payload from being destroyed. Deter the bad guys from destroying the main payload. Yes! Using words properly in a sentence with proper punctuation comma exclamation mark. Whoa! Whoa! Okay! 
These guys are getting kind of chaotic. And, okay, I just dodged right into that bullet. So it has become apparent to me, having died 300 times in this one point, that there are checkpoints in the level and not just come back where you died at. I'm going to beat level 22 today. Yes. Okay, flying over Florida for the 100th time. It's a very, very specific corner of Florida. Is that how you say it? I've always said Florida, but there is an I in there. Maybe it is Florida. I don't know. Okay, it's not Florida anymore. There aren't any, uh, well, maybe it is. I don't know. There's a Florida in Hawaii, right? Florida's part of Hawaii. There's trees in Hawaii and Florida, right? Surely. How high above the air do I have to be for a beach to look exactly like that? I know I'm close. Just take a look at the beach there for a moment and how much contrast there is and how deep it is. I mean, how, how expansive it is next to the grass and the trees. It... It looks kind of bigger than it should be. If I'm understanding the scale, the relative scale of things on the screen right now correctly, that one ship over there on the left is just flying in pretty little donuts, minding his own business and getting all in mine. I was able to scratch my face there without exploding. Hey, I see the ship. This is a time of celebration. Land. Thank you. All right, everybody, this has been Tarquin playing 1942. Thanks for watching.